Welcome back. This is Jennifer Hill, and I'm here with my good friend, Andrea Hood. Andrea Hood is in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I am in the hood today. And the reason why Andrea's joined me here on this part of the, the set is because she is a recipe guru. Oh my God. So Andrea, tell us what we're going to make today. Thank you so much, Jen. You're so sweet. Um, I, we are going to make guacamole today and we're going to have, um, I'm going to show you some tips on how you can cut the avocado and prepare your guacamole so your whole family and friends can enjoy it with you. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> and I think avocados are nature's butter. I mean, oh, they're, they're so, so delicious. Good. So good. I could eat a whole one. I know. I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> they're really good. Sometimes I just put like a little bit of sea salt or a little bit of nutritional yeast on them and I can mm. just, they're so good. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. Even my nine-year-old daughter who's kind of picky eater will just take tortilla chips and scoop out the avocado and oh, eat Oh, really? Them. Oh, yeah. That's really good though. It's good. It's good because avocados have a lot of healthy fats and that's really good for your hair, skin, and nails. It's mm. just, it's really good for your body. I think a lot of people don't know that healthy fats are really important to have in your diet. So Right. They think fat is what you don't want because you don't want to get fat, but yeah. healthy fats don't make you fat. Exactly. It's other stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what awesome. are we going to do? Tell me what to do. So today, can you do the onion chopping for me? I hope you don't cry. I put on <laughs> mascara. Okay. Yes, I can. So if you want to just chop them into fine pieces. Sure. And I'm going to start cutting the avocado. So guys, when you're getting an avocado, you want it to be a little bit, a little bit soft, but not too soft. And then you're going to slice it down the middle like this. and open it up. So now to get the flesh out, you're gonna just take a spoon. <laughs> Can we call it something else? Oh, no, to get, the, to get the avocado deliciousness out, you, just, <laughs> you, take, you take a spoon and just kind of scoop it right out. Plop. Put it right into your bowl. Now, another great thing to prevent your guacamole from browning, you want to take the pit and put it in the bowl with it. <gasps> Yeah, did you know that? I did not know oh, that. Oh, look at that, you learned something new. I've seen pits in guacamole and I just assume like, oh, she's so lazy. <laughs> okay, you wanna get that little Yeah, I gotta get that beat up. <laughs> um, no, I'm not gonna chop that in there. Um, no, <laughs> someone was not being lazy, Jen. They were just... Um, I know, who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> they were just trying to prevent it from browning, so. That's really smart. <laughs> and we're going to do something else in a minute, too, that'll prevent it from browning. I'm going to put two avocados in today because I know there's lots of folks that are wanting to try <laughs> this recipe today. <laughs> I know, this whole place is buzzing with the idea, oh, there's going to be guacamole to eat. <laughs> I kind of feel like a rock star whenever I film here because everyone's like, oh, here comes Jen, there's gonna be food. <laughs> <laughs> well, us health coaches love to eat and we love to eat healthy food, so. That's true, I forgot to mention Andrew's a fellow health coach. That's how we know each other. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. I'm a fellow health coach and local food eater. I love to purchase um, local food from the Seacoast area. We have some of the greatest farmer's markets around here, mm -hmm. um, and I absolutely love them. Actually, so, Andrea volunteers, if you yeah, don't mind me saying. She yeah, helps I out do. at the local farmer's market, so if you ever want to find her. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see me um, when I'm volunteering at the farmer's markets. We're always looking for more volunteers as well. Um, you can find out more about the, more information about the farmer's markets on seacoasteatlocal.org. Ooh, good one. And that's a list of all the local farms in the area as well as area farmer's markets. So I just mashed up the avocados using a potato masher. Pretty simple. I just love that color green. I do too, it's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? So right. Jen, if you wanna add in the onions, yep. Jen just iced, uh, diced up about a quarter of a medium sized onion Dice, dice, baby. dice it small. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> she diced it up small, and now she's <laughs> gonna add it to the um, the avocados. Now another thing, Jen, do you want to do the tomato as well? I'd love to. So we're gonna do a tomato. Uh, this recipe is really great to make in the summer months when tomatoes are fresh um, in like late Ooh. August. Oh, it's so good. I this use a lot of times. I'll use cherry tomatoes because they're sweeter. <gasps> oh, yum! Okay. But look at how ripe and juicy this tomato is. I got that one at Trader Joe's. Um, it's an organic, organic tomato. That's another thing, guys. If you can, try to find organic ingredients just because mm -hmm. they're more nutrient dense. Um, and you can avoid better for you. GMOs. Avoid the GMOs. If you don't know what GMOs are yet, you need to look it up. <laughs> it's very important. Everyone needs to know. <laughs> Genetically modified, <laughs> like Frankenstein built food. And it's bad for you. Very, very bad. So what I just did right there was I quartered a lemon 
I'm sorry, a lime. I was like, the other am citrus. I, am I colorblind? <laughs> okay, that's a lime. <laughs> it's a lime. So I quartered the lime and I squirted the juice in to the guacamole mixture because this also will help prevent browning and just give it like a fresh little kick too. Stir I, it up a little bit. I love your little lemon juicer thing. Lime oh juicer yeah, thing. it's awesome. I use that when I'm making my fresh lemon water every morning. I need to get me one of those. Yeah, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. Jen's dicing up the tomatoes, and she's doing a great job. I'm going to add thank some you. garlic. <laughs> You're a great dicer. Oh, thank you very much. I, I could really use, dicey, but, oh. I could use some help in the uh, kitchen. Sorry if that was loud on the on camera there. Um, right now, I'm trying to peel my garlic cloves. Do you want me to throw this in, or are we waiting on the tomatoes? Nope, you can throw the tomatoes in. Oh, look at how pretty those are. I know, I love those it. Those are so bright and pretty, they really are. And when you mix it with the green, it's like Christmas. I know, it does, it looks like Christmas. Christmas in February. Okay. So now I'm just gonna dice up one large garlic clove. I'm a huge garlic fan. So I never always too much. <laughs> never too much to me. It's also loaded with um, a lot of antioxidants and just really, really good for you stuff. It helps fight off colds and flus. Mm -hmm. So really important during these winter months to get some garlic and onions, actually, and onions. Yep. This is a really great immune boosting recipe. So. Do you see there's like five ingredients in this guacamole? Yeah, there's really not many. You have your avocados, you have your lime. Avocados, lime. Get that, onion. Get that off there. Onion. Tomato oh. and garlic. So I'm just gonna show a little bit. Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> right? I can't Beautiful. wait to eat that. I'm sorry, oh. everybody. We're not gonna have any left over for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get all. So then we'll just give it a good stir. Thank you again, Jen, for cutting up. My pleasure. I didn't oh, even cry. I didn't even so shed good. a tear. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So now I just do a touch of sea salt. I use some pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, I love this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just do a little touch. I just eyeball it like that. It's usually good. Um, do we want heat today or no heat? Maybe a little heat. little heat? Sure. Okay, so we're going to add just like a dash of some cayenne pepper. Okay. Like that. Wow. That's usually enough. <laughs> <laughs> a little of this stuff goes a long way. Oh! And you know, Andrea cut up some, um, what are these called? Cucumbers. <laughs> and we have some tortilla chips, which she's going to tell us about in a second. Yeah, so. so this recipe is great. You can serve it with some fresh cucumber sticks. Um, if you're buying a a non-organic cucumber. Make sure to peel the skin off of it first mm -hmm. before before eating um, and make sure to wash it. That's very important. Mm -hmm. And also some non-GMO uh, blue corn chips. So again, we were talking about GMOs a little mm -hmm. earlier. That could be a whole show. Exactly. <laughs> so just, just want to let you know to try to avoid them and try to learn a little bit more about them. Um, you can find non-GMO by purchasing organic. Um, so these these are some great chips that I love and I wanted to bring them today to share with Jen. Yay! And corn is one of the highest um, GMO crops out there. So the so more true. you can buy organic corn, no matter what the product is, the better. So, so. true. Yay. You're so wise. I thank you very much. <laughs> um, so let's just pop some of this in the bowl awesome. so we can have it all ready. And I can't wait to sit down and eat some of this with you. That looks so good. Right? I know. <laughs> oh wait, there's the pit. I'm like, yeah. it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mash this up good. Yeah, no, that's the pit. Keep uh -huh. it from browning. Okay. And the citrus will help with that too. And there's going to be some leftover too. So, a little thing to note about the leftovers, this is this recipe is served best right away. However, you can, you know, store it. The the pit and the lemon uh, lime juice will help for maybe a couple hours in the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, but if this is something you're making for like a gathering or a party at your house, I would say make it right before your guests arrive. Right. Or impress your guests and bring it all and make it for yeah, them. Make it right see how easy them. it was? Not that hard. What right? did it take? Five Woo minutes? We Thanks rock. for the teamwork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. So we're going to head over to our little corner where we can chat and eat. And you guys Meet. get to meet Andrea a little bit more. Well, you get an idea that she's awesome, but you get to learn a little bit more about Andrea in a moment. All right? All right. Okay, let's good. do it. Let's do it. All right, so we've been chomping at the bit to try this guacamole, huh, Andrea? We totally have. <laughs> so before we get started talking about our fabulous guest, Andrea, um, we're actually going to try the guacamole. I can't wait. I'm like <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's Please. all I can do to not jump in that bowl. Go ahead, you first. Really, really, you really go good. first. <laughs> <laughs> Dig in with me. Don't make me okay. first. Okay. I'll use I my hands there. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. I love guacamole. <laughs> guacamole makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> me too. Of course I had to shove the whole thing in my mouth at once so I can't <laughs> talk. 
I'm telling you, <laughs> in my days of teaching and going to the cafeteria at school, guacamole days, I'm like, happy, happy, happy. Oh, they had guacamole at your school? That's well, nice. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are trying to control ourselves around the guacamole. <laughs> it's going to be really, really hard. We could just nibble. Well, you, okay. you talk as much as you want, and I'll just nibble. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really would love to have you um, share with our audience a little bit about yourself. So, Andrew, what got you into the field of holistic health coaching? So a few years ago, after my husband and I got married um, in 2009, we were looking over our um, wedding pictures and wedding video, and although they were like beautifully done, we loved them, mm -hmm. we were just like, oh, that's how we look? Like, <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but we were like, oh my God, we're so heavy. Like, we didn't realize that we were so big. So, and at the time we were drinking a real lot and we were partying a lot. We were having a lot of fun, not gonna lie, but <laughs> we knew it wasn't how we should keep living. So. Mm -hmm. I started running, we started eating healthier. Um, I found out about the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, which is where Jen and I both went. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I signed up and just kept rolling, kept rolling, so. That's awesome. Yeah. And so what changes have you seen in yourself since you've started this path? Yeah, um, I definitely have a lot more energy, mm -hmm. a lot more energy, a lot, I feel a lot lighter. I feel less stressed. Um, I feel happier. Mm -hmm. I have more fulfilling relationships with with people that I'm connected with, and I'm I'm thankful for that too. Yeah. So yeah, it's just been an all around a great experience. That's awesome. And one of the things that the Institute of Integrative Nutrition does is helps you learn to build your own business, right? So mm -hmm. that you can bring it forth and help others. <clears throat> so in my case, here I am doing the show. Hopefully you're getting something out of it. <laughs> and Andrea, in your case, what is it that you do? So I run my food blog and my online nutrition programs. My food blog is 100% free. Um, so you guys can go and get recipes anytime you want. I do weekly recipes there. Um, Tell us the name of your food blog. AndreaHood.com. So very simple. Um, my last name is H-O-O-D. Dot com. So mm -hmm. pretty simple. Um, so I do free weekly recipes on my blog, and then I also run online nutrition programs for folks. So yeah. that's great. It's fun. It's and fun. do you have any nutrition programs running right now? Um, I don't have any running right now, but we are going to be doing one this spring. Um, it's my 21 days to a healthy, happy you program. So and it's all online, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. People around the country. Actually, I had someone sign up from Mexico last time I did it. So it's <laughs> it's it's pretty cool that everyone you know it's it's spreading which is neat which That's is really right. fun because andrea did ask me she's like do you think maybe you could teach me some spanish <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know Spanish. Can you help me? Yeah. Well, so that's awesome. Anyone anywhere in the world could sign up for your programs yeah. and get the benefit. Yeah, that's so it's great. exciting. Yay. It's exciting. So did you study um, in college to do something similar? Or what no. was your original oh plan? Oh, my goodness. My original plan, my whole life, I wanted to be a teacher. My whole life. Um, I went to school. I went to Wheelock College in Boston. And I graduated with my bachelor's in early childhood don't, education. Don't mind me. Just it's keep totally talking. Fine. You just keep it. <laughs> um, so I graduated with a bachelor's in early childhood ed. And I'm mm -hmm. certified to teach in math. So she says, actually, still, I think I'm certified. Um, but never went to teach. Um, just knew it wasn't for me. So now it's actually kind of funny because now that I'm coming back around into my health coaching practice, I'm teaching people just mm -hmm. not what I thought I was going to be teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching about food and nutrition and healthy living as opposed to teaching little children in the classroom. So yeah, <laughs> just kind of funny how it like all like wraps around. Mm -hmm. And in the past couple of years, I've been working for my dad and um, in sales and in project management. So it's kind of like steered me off path a little bit, but now I'm getting right back on track mm -hmm. to what I think my purpose is. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. So can you give us an example of someone who's had a tremendous um, turnaround from working with you in your programs? So actually, to be honest, I have to say my husband is probably the most, and I, you know, probably because he lives with me and so he can't <laughs> fight it, he has to do it. But my husband has, has completely changed his life around. Um, when we first met, he didn't even have a high school diploma, so he went back to school, um, and now he's a truck driver. He has a CDL. He drives um, tractor trailers, and in the process, now most truck drivers actually gain weight as they're doing this. Well, in the process of us getting healthy, he's lost over 90 pounds. Whoa. So, and he has so much more energy now, and so, yeah, I know that's probably selfish of me to save my husband, but it really, he's really no, been the biggest transformation. Matter. And probably too, because we've been kind of doing it together. And I think that makes a big difference in both of our oh, totally. success stories is 
doing it together in the teamwork. So 100%. You need support yeah. around you if you're going to make big you do. changes. You 100%. do. Totally. Good friends, yeah. family. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. So you've inspired your husband. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Have you noticed anybody else in your family like your immediate circle? My brother. Of, yeah. My brother too. Yeah. He's doing really well. He's lost weight. He started running. Yeah. So That's he's great. doing. He has more energy too. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, just loving life. So it's just like a ripple effect, right? Yeah, it is. It is a ripple effect. <laughs> it is. When we you laugh. start affecting the people, yeah. it's, it spreads to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I have people in Spain who I'm talking to too. Yeah, so, yeah. it's like, it's fun. Mm -hmm. it's it fun. is fun. We laugh, we share a little giggle about it because the Institute of Integrative Nutrition talks about the ripple effect, yes. you know, how one person can make a difference and it affects everybody around them. Mm -hmm. And it really it does. does. Absolutely. The difference has to start with you. I always mm -hmm. tell people that and then it kind of goes out. Well, don't you think when you lead by example, other people are yes. like, I want what she's got, or, you yeah. know, they just kind of follow you around. That's so true. It's Not so follow true. you around like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but like follow your lead and start yes. making changes within themselves. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Being the positive role model. And then they kind of, yeah. Yeah. I've definitely noticed that as well. So yeah. that's great. Now, is there anything, I know we have people watching who know you <laughs> and some people who don't know you. And I always like to see if we can come up with something that maybe people don't know about you. People Andrea. don't know about me. What's so. the Andrea Hood? that we don't know yet? Like what, what <laughs> message or what story or something interesting that you could come up with? Well, I don't know how interesting it is. Well, maybe it kind of is. It leads me to cooking and why I love okay. to cook so much. So when I was a child, like a young child, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And what I used to do is actually like take, and now in like retrospect, I'm like, oh my goodness, how much money was I spending? Um, but I would take like her, extracts like vanilla extracts and her like all these things and make like potions like when I was like four or five years old and just kind of combining and, and playing in the kitchen and having so much fun yeah um so yeah now in retrospect I think oh my goodness how much money did my grandmother's <laughs> supplies that I waste but um that I would just dump down the sink but I think that's kind of where my love for cooking and experimenting and playing in the kitchen because that's mm -hmm. basically like the purpose of my blog is just just get people have fun with their food just right. make it fun make healthy eating fun so um, yeah, that's great. I think playing in the kitchen started when I was just a young girl. <laughs> so behind every fabulous cooking goddess like Andrea, there is a fantastically patient grandmother. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Letting you ruin all of her stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, Andrea, are you are you a yoga lover? I am. I love yoga. Really? I love yoga. I'm I going to my first did. retreat in a couple weeks. I can't wait to see what you have to show me today. Okay, so I'm yeah, so we're going to do a little yoga. Yeah. I like to give, you know, one thing at a time for people at home to try, and I figured you would enjoy this one. Yeah. Um, so I, the only thing is that I forgot my magic wand in the hustle bustle of trying to shovel my car out this morning because it snowed like so up to here snow. last night. <laughs> we are so done with the snow. So but done. <clears throat> so I don't know if you have any ideas for I do because I have this thing called magic Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> <These> oh. <laughs> so it's just as magic as your wand. So I think we should give it a try. Would you please fill me up with some magic <laughs> Himalayan pink salt? There you go. I wonder what makes it magic because it comes from the Himalayan mountains. Possibly. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's see a magic word. Hmm. Like, where does this one come from? Magic word. Himalaya. <laughs> we, you want to say Himalaya? Yeah. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Himalaya. Himalaya. Oh, God, this is so good. So good. <sighs> I'm so full. Oh, no. The magic didn't work. Oh, we didn't go. Oh hold God. on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I'm, it might be too full for yoga. All right, let's we try it again. Sorry about this. my guacamole Yoga hand. will give us energy. That's right. Okay, ready? Okay. Maybe we just need to try abracadabra this time. Abracadabra. Okay, let's do it. Ready, one, two, three. Abracadabra. abracadabra. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> We're here. It's magic. We're here. It works every time. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, now that we're here, we might as well do a little yoga. I have a move I wanted to share. Um, tell me what you think. A lot of times people spend most of their day sitting down at the computer or hovering over something, right? That's me. So this move <laughs> has um, been famous in certain Korean videos, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, but it's called the cat cow. Oh, I love that move. That's like one of my favorite yoga moves. Awesome. I'm so excited we're going to do this one. Oh, good. Well, it's a really good way to release awesome. some tension in your back, especially yes. your lower back. Yes. So why don't really we just helps. get started? If you have bad knees at home and you want to put a pillow under your knees, go ahead and do that now. Um, but we have mats, so we're just going to go ahead and get on our hands and knees, just like our favorite four-legged animal, cats or cows or dogs or whatever. <laughs> and this is very simple. It's really two parts. You inhale while you 
arch your back and look up. And then you exhale while you hover, you suck in your stomach and you sort of arch your back the opposite direction. And you hold that. We're gonna do that two more times, okay? Inhale. And exhale. And it's important to hold your stomach in so that you are protecting your back with your abdominal muscles. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Relax. How's that feel? Oh, so good. Yeah, Even just the breathing like that, too, like just really helps to get in some good deep breaths during the day. Oh, I know. It's so important. It is. How many times you forget, all of a sudden you realize, like, wait a second, my breathing has been shallow for the last, like, I don't know how many hours. Yeah. It's good. important to take some time to breathe and stretch, mm -hmm. move your body. Exactly. I think if you find that, if you do this, um, I don't know, five times, mm -hmm. it's so easy. You can be in the office and be like, oh, my back hurts. Take a break. Nobody's going to walk in, right? Or if they do, just explain I'm doing yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Get have down. them join you. <laughs> yeah, have them join you. <laughs> and do a little cat cow. It's good for you. You can even <laughs> meow and moo if you want. There you go. <laughs> Add some sound effects in. All right. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me, Jen. I and really tell, appreciate it. Tell us again where everybody can find you. You can find me at www.andreahood.com. Check it out. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. She's the recipe goddess. <laughs> All right. So um, that's it. Come back again next time for more food for your body, mind, and soul. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs>